Hi guys, it's Rike here and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rike and I review a lot of activers, so if you're into that kind of stuff, just keep watching. Um, today I'm reviewing Ownz, um, a woman-owned brand that does like a lot of yoga stuff but also activewear. And they have a lot of like interesting designs and styles. And I've had a few of their pieces for a while already. There's some that I like, there's some that I don't like that much. And I ordered a whole bunch of new stuff so I could review some for you and do a whole video out of this. Um, just a few things about Onzi. They have like a big Instagram presence also in um, the, you know, the yoga community. And um, that's what I've mostly seen people wear this for, for yoga. But that's just because that's, you know, the, what I usually, you know, um, do on Instagram. And they do 99% uh, of their like suing and dying whatever in the US apparently so they're kind of situated in LA I think um, and they're also not super cheap I assume also partially because of that and I will also say for my European friends I usually never directly order from their website they ship out of the US but they have like insanely high shipping fees and stuff so um, they also sell a lot of stuff on like other resale sites like uh, Zalando, About You, these kind of things and I mean sometimes you have to wait a little bit to see their newest designs on those sites um, or like you could also check out smaller yoga boutiques and that kind of stuff but you usually find other resale sites sell their stuff for better shipping deals um, so just a tip <laughs> I think if you're in the US it's fine because they have like free domestic shipping over like a certain amount of money you know so that's all good but yeah for my European friends just try some resale sites uh, so you can save some money in case you're interested in some of these items. Yes, but let's just get into today's video. So I, like I said, I had a few things already. I will talk about some of those pieces and then the newer stuff I ordered is from Zalando. Um, so yeah, just that. But let's get into it. First, I want to show you the things that I have or have had already. I mean, I have everything here, right? And um, I want to talk about this Selenite Mudra bra first. So this one uh, is a color that I've had for like the past two years already. So they don't have the exact same color, but they always come out in like the selenite stuff and um, a lot of different colors every season basically. So there's a lot to pick from. Um, so what's really special about this is the fabric and the structure that it has. So you can see this is not a print or anything, this is like really structured on the fabric. It is super nice and soft and comfortable, kind of cottony. So I'm not super sweat wicking, but like comfortable. Um, this is like a really true bra uh, length. So it's not like a long line sports bra or anything, just the, just the bra length basically. We have like a, a simple silhouette in the front, but you have like the cute like structure uh, of, the, of the fabric and everything. We have an elastic underneath your chest here, um, just a scoop neck. And then in the back you have like a cute strappy back detailing here. The straps are slightly um, stretchy, so nothing should be cutting in. One thing I will say is that sometimes their bras are fit a little small. Um, but yeah, I mean, I will try all of them on and, and tell you what I think about sizing and stuff. But yeah, their sizing might be a little inconsistent. Um, at least from my previous experience. Um, yeah, and I mean the highlight of this is definitely the structured fabric. And I really just like how it feels on your skin. It's super nice. The inside of this bra is white for some reason. So you might see it a little bit up top here, for example. In case, you know, you kind of move, like kind of bend forward or something. But I personally don't find it too annoying. Um, for the darker colors, it is probably black. I think it is. And... Yeah, but let's see this one on. All right, the Selenite Mudra bra is definitely very comfortable. Um, I remember when I bought, put this on first, um, it was a little bit tighter. And I will also say that their sports bras generally do feel a little bit tight, so you could definitely, um, if you're in between, I would definitely suggest to size up. But otherwise, this one usually fits fine. I also really like, like it's a structured fabric, but it's very comfortable and soft. And we do have an elastic underneath here. So, you know, that you're nicely tucked in, removable cup pads. Then there is, I mean, you have a scoop neck, but there's not too much cleavage showing, so you have good coverage. And then you have thicker straps going across your shoulders here. And then in the back, you have this beautiful, like, detailing. 
a bit more of an open back but still like this elastic down here and yeah definitely size up if you're in between but I think it's like a super cute sports bra um, nice and strappy more of a let's test it I would say light to medium support so like definitely nothing for like high intensity workouts no jumping or anything with this I mean I could probably get away with it but you know if you have a bigger chest maybe not so <laughs> not so much and this is definitely more of a true sports bra length so not super long um i'm pairing it with a high waisted pair of leggings and you can still see a lot of skin but yeah i think this i, I really like the texture of this um the whole set basically and yeah it comes in so many different colors so you can really pick something and of course you could also pair this with something um something different at the bottom but yeah this particular like fabric from Onzi is always quite nice and stretchy as well so yeah all right to go with the selenite mudra bra we have the selenite midi leggings so these i also have in the same color and it's a very like again a very nice like fabric and you can see how stretchy this is and it is still soft and of course also with this one we have the beautiful structure in your, the fabric here and also we have some cutout holes down your leg it's hard to see like this now but when I have them on you'll be able to see it a little bit better but yeah you need to be a little bit careful when putting these on so you don't rip the holes but like it hasn't happened to me so far I also don't have very long fingernails but yeah you have those uh, along your leg only goes like it doesn't go up the entire leg like somewhere around the knee is where it stops with the holes and then you still have like the nice structure of the fabric super cute and yeah this one just feels like really nice really soft really comfortable we have a top seam for these leggings which I personally don't mind it helps me keep them up front seam again I personally don't mind it and then not much happening in the glute detailing department here but that's just very normal for yoga brands. They don't really care about it too much. And I mean, you know, sometimes all you want is comfort. So if there's if the legs are still comfortable, I don't really care too much either. We have a small logo here. It's just like sewn on here um, at the bottom of the leg there. And yeah, I will say these are not 100% squat proof, especially in the lighter colors, but they are really comfortable. And of course, I will do a squat test for you as well, so you can see um, how squat proof these are. But yeah, you could also opt for a darker color in these. As I said, there are so many different options and colors for these that they bring out every season. So, you know, a lot of stuff to choose from. But let's see these on. All right, these leggings do have a top seam, but they're like super soft and comfortable and so stretchy. So yeah, I can fit the small medium in this. Some other leggings from Onzi, I would rather get the medium large, so it's like really always depends on the specific style. Um, but these ones I always get in small medium because they are so stretchy and comfortable. And I still, like even getting the small medium, I don't feel a lot of compression from these, which is why it is nice to have this top seam. You can also see there's still a little bit of space, but you know, because of the top seam, like it keeps me tucked in. and. I don't think it cuts in too bad like sure if you like fold over to the side maybe a little bit and we do have a front seam I don't really feel it being invasive at all and we have like quite a like wide waistband here but again not too much compression and then the back is just straight across seams here so like not big detailing or anything um, but it is nice and high waisted and of course the highlight of this is the fabric and the cutouts and the structure so you can see the structure here a little bit and it's really really nice and you know soft and it's just it's always like makes you want to touch your leggings because it's so fun to feel it and then you can see all the cutouts here and they're more like a, on your lower leg basically I think the highest it comes is on top of your like just a bit above your knee here there for example and here and then you have like throughout fabric basically to not like make it too risky but I really like how these fit how they feel and sure I would not wear them to like any like hit workout because I don't think they're very sweat wicking but for like yoga pilates for like just running errands for chilling um some more light intensity workouts you would be absolutely fine with these and like I said the top seam keeps them up and they still feel like super comfortable and yeah it's so stretchy like it's really nice and um 
They are not super squat proof in the lighter colors for sure, but you would be fine with nude underwear, I think. But we will see the squat test, so yeah. All right, let's continue on with the Sutra bra in red liquid. So I also have the leggings to go with it, which I will show after this. And I will say I mainly got the set because of how it looked and I just couldn't say no. So the bra looks pretty simple now here, but like when you have it on, it's just like boom, you know. And this red liquid truly is like such a bright and vibrant color. It's slightly shiny, which is why it's called liquid and not just red. And it's a one shoulder moment here. We have this little cutout to give you a little bit of cleavage, I presume. We again have an elastic underneath the chest. This time we have no removable cut pads, so just double lined here. And then in the back, this one strap kind of divides into two smaller straps. And then you just have like a normal, you know, normal simple back here basically. And you can see here in this color, we have black on the inside. Whereas with the first bra we looked at, it was a lighter color. We had white on the inside of the bra. So they seem to be doing that with most of their bras, that they just have like, you know, a different color on the inside, which makes sense. Um, it's fine. You don't necessarily want the, like this shiny fabric against your bare skin. It's not always the most comfortable thing. Um, and yes, I think this one looks really cute. It's also very special. I think they also had it in different colors. So um, not sure about this liquid red, if it's still available, but definitely uh, in other colors. Um, but yeah, let's try this one on. All right, I will be honest, I got the set mainly because of the looks. <laughs> I mean, look at how shiny this is, and then this bra, like, woo, okay. Um, so we do not have removable cup pads in this bra, so we might have some nippage going on here. We have, again, an elastic underneath, and I will tell you, getting this on was a struggle. So this is the same size as the selenite mudra bra that I showed you before, but yet this feels a lot tighter. Of course, it also has to do with this material, because this is very different. As you can also hear, like it makes a lot more sound than the other one. It's not like cottony and stretchy as much. Um, definitely a little more compressive. So yeah, if you like something more comfortable, maybe not it, but like for me, for taking like pictures and stuff, this is really like, woo, okay. <laughs> it draws attention, I would say. And um, yeah, we have this nice cutout here. If you have a little bit of a bigger chest, you probably would get a little bit more cleavage from this. And just a one shoulder situation here. Thick strap though, at least until here, and then it splits up um, like the selenite bra did. But I would say you still get like a decent amount of coverage on both sides. And since like it's tugging me in so much, I also don't feel like this is gonna, you know, move anywhere. Like sometimes one shoulder sports bras can like, you know, maybe expose <laughs> this other left alone breast a little bit more. But like with this one, I feel like nothing is gonna move. So I would say this is a solid medium support, at least for me. And yeah, like I said, already in the back, we have this one strap bra just strap, just like splitting up into two smaller straps and then just, you know, making a nice shape in the back there. Still looks like super cute. And I mean, like I said, in this bright red, it's just like, wow. They also have this in other colors, but like the red is just like, really good um but yeah i would definitely say to i would probably even you know say to size up in general um because yeah i sometimes can size down in bras to an extra small but like this one is very tight on me already in the small medium so yeah the sizing is a little bit inconsistent i guess um really dependent on the fabric and this one is just not as stretchy so yeah but it looks really good All right, as promised, I also have this, the legging to go uh, with the bra with me here. And these are the high-rise liquid leggings. So also in red liquid, very shiny, very bright. I also think the shininess of the leggings brings out the color even more, makes it pop even more. Um, and I'm just here for it. So I like everything shiny and glittery and sparkly and shimmery and whatnot. So definitely this is, this is my thing. Um, I will say if you're going for comfort, the selenite 
leggings are definitely much, 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 much better in, in terms of comfort. Um, this fabric is more of a performance fabric, but it's also, it feels slightly stiff. Of course, it's possible that with the more you wear it, you know, the, the, the more it loosens up and the more comfortable and soft it feels. But yeah, it feels slightly stiff, um, maybe because of the, the coating or whatever this, whatever makes it liquid. Um, but in terms of shape, the most of the Onzi leggings are super similar. So this one also has a top seam, helps you keep up those leggings. A front seam, again, not super invasive. And then in the back, not much glute detailing happening. Um, so yeah, basically same, same as the one we previously saw. Also the logo situation is the same. So I would assume they also fit similarly, but then again, this fabric is slightly less stretchy than the selenite fabric. So that of course might affect the fit a little bit. Um, but I mean, the color is just amazing. So let's see these ones on. All right, let's take a look at these leggings. So they're also nice and high-waisted still. Again, like a, a pretty wide waistband here. And we do have a top seam as well, but I feel like I have a little bit of space here in the back and it's kind of dipping a teeny tiny bit lower. Maybe it's just in my imagination, maybe it is exactly that. Uh, exactly what's happening. We do have a front seam again, um, maybe a teeny tiny bit of camel toe situation, but not too bad at all, especially if you wear underwear underneath your leggings. Um, and I will say with these ones, I would definitely do that because they are like not that soft. So they're just like very, it feels like very performancey and it's like kind of, I would say a typical shimmer material that you can see uh, on a lot of different leggings. And in the back, we just have straight across seams. They could sit a little bit higher to be a bit more flattering for your, for your butt, I think. Um, but that's not what they're about. So yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like if I had sized up in these to a medium large, then I would have had more space in the legs, but the waist would have been way too big because I already feel like there's a little bit too much space. So yeah, I would just like if they had a medium, <laughs> that would be nice. Um, so yeah. I don't know. They fit okay, but they would definitely not be my favorite leggings for like workouts or anything. So the, the Selenite leggings are definitely like a nicer fit and feel more comfortable and also a little more, bit more breathable, to be honest. Like, um, and maybe it's the shiny material that makes them like this, but yes, it's a pretty like dense material as well. And I mean, I can move and whatnot. So that's not a problem, but it still doesn't feel as comfortable if that makes sense. But yeah, I mean, the looks, of course, make up for it. Um, I would still think you could probably see sweat in these. <laughs> I'm also like, these are really, they feel very warm. Like I can, I can start to feel myself sweating. And um, maybe it's because of all the lights as well, but like, you know. Um, but yeah, definitely the looks are just like, I mean, look at how shiny this is and how bright red. And they also have shiny leggings in like other colors, of course, but I'm, I love red, so I had to get this. And I mean, it just, I think it looks good. It's just, yeah, not as comfortable as the selenite set. All right, let's continue on. We have the Bali Bandeau in Emerald Jacquard. So we have a jacquard fabric here, and so it is called bandeau, but we still have straps. It is a bandeau shape, though. Um, if the straps are going to help with the support, or if it's just going to be a bandeau where someone just decided to add straps and it does nothing, we will see in the try-on. Um, but first off, this fabric is like super soft, and you can also see there's a slight shimmer to it, or at least to parts of it. So we have like, an, a, like a kind of a camo print in, in this jacquard here. Um, and it's it's a dark green, um, I mean emerald, right, says it all, kind of, maybe leaning a bit towards teal. Uh, we have the, um, these like simple straps here, they're kind of stretchy. And yeah, there's not much else to the front, it's just like a simple bandeau shape. And then in the back, we do have a cutout situation here, which could look cute. And again, on the inside, we have black, because this is also a darker color, so I guess that makes sense. And again, no removal cup pads for this one either. So yeah, overall, I think this fabric is like super nice. This might even be softer than the selenite one. Um, 
yeah, of course I'm a little bit biased towards the set because I've had it for a while and I really like it. But this could be this could be a good fabric too. So um, let's try this one on. All right, let's move on to this bra. Um, I feel like I'm getting a lot of fabric, a lot of coverage out of this. I have a small chest, but I think it barely covers it, and it also doesn't lift my my chest up. You know, it doesn't really help help to enhance it. Basically, it is like just a bandeau, and they put some straps onto it. But yeah, there's like it's it's not. Like, I feel like it makes them even flatter and like kind of pushes them down a little bit. So not a big fan of this bra. I think it would be better if you could adjust the straps, but they're not adjustable. At least they're stretchy, so that's that's nice. Um, again, very short bra length, elastic underneath to tuck you in. And I mean, it's still like a solid small, like um, small, <laughs> solid <laughs> light to medium support. But yeah, I don't know. I don't get too much from this. And then we have like a bit of a cutout here in the back, which is fine for me. I, I think it looks nice, but yeah, I, like I, it doesn't, I think it pushes them down and that's not what we want. Um, I like the color though. I'm not sure about the print, but this is really more of a jacquard thing. It's a little bit shiny. Um, it's very nice and soft and very stretchy, but yeah, not, I don't like this bra. It's just not, I don't know, it's just not flattering. And um, yeah, no. All right, to go with the Bali Bandeau bra, we have the Jacquard midi leggings, or just midi leggings, but in the Jacquard, in emerald, again, to go with the bra here. Again, slightly shimmery, slightly not, and you have this camo fabric, camo fabric, camo pattern on there. Um, and this time I got these like in a size larger than I got the other items. So it only has like split sizing, small, medium, medium, large, whatnot, and you know, when I was like, oh, look, I'm usually between a small and a medium. I was like, oh, that's cool. They have small, medium. So, I mean, if you look at the size chart, their small, medium is basically other brand, another brand's small and the medium, large is another brand's medium. So it's not really helpful because I'm still in between the small, medium and the medium, large. So, you know, whatever. I don't even know why brands do the split sizing because I found it very confusing because, yeah, it just doesn't work that way. Um, so I got these in a medium large, whereas the other two leggings I showed you before had in a small medium. So we'll see how this goes. This fabric, again, is like super soft and feels really comfortable. A little bit thicker maybe than the other two fabrics that we've looked at so far. And otherwise, the cut of the, the legging is the exact same. We again have a top seam, we have a front seam, and then not much glued detailing happening in the back here. So... They, they seem to have like a consistent style of leggings. Also again, here the, the logo on, you know, the bottom of your leg here. But I think what makes like their leggings and what, what differs between them is like the fabric that they use and the prints and the patterns and colors. Um, but yeah, I would say this jacquard feels really nice and soft and luxurious as well. I mean, it also kind of looks luxurious with like the, the, the slight shimmer or shine to it. Um, really nice. But yeah, I think these are a little bit thick. So definitely would not wear them in summer. Um, and yeah, they're really stretchy. So uh, let's see these on. All right, onto these leggings. So they're, the fabric is really nice and soft and like, I really like it. I got these in a the medium large and I feel like I could have done um, the small medium in this because I feel like I have a little bit of space up here and we have a top seam Of course that still helps to keep them up, but like I'm not getting any compression from this I feel like I have a little bit of extra space in the crotch area, too um, Again front seam, so they're all basically the same You have like this thick or this wide waistband here and then you have a front seam and not too much happening in the glute department here um, so this is just how they design all their leggings but yeah, I mean, I think I think it looks fun with like the bit of shininess and the fabric is really good, but um, yeah, I think I should have done a size smaller. Uh, they are very stretchy though, so yeah. There's that. Um, also, if you don't like camo, I don't like it as much. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't pick this <laughs> set, but I like the color. Um, yeah, if you don't like camo, maybe this is not your cup of tea, but I think it looks very cute. Um, the, how they at least did the pattern situation that you have a little bit more structure and then here, 
you know, the, the different patterns, different patches of fabric. And it's nice. Um, it's also, again, like a more warmer legging, I think. So I also don't think these are very sweat wicking. I would not wear these for like a high intense, like high intensity, whatever, a hit workout. Um, Cause you would be seeing the sweat, but I think these could be really nice and comfortable for yoga and Pilates again, um, or just for lounging. Definitely could see that. But yeah, like it's nothing, I don't know. I think I need to test the size down to see if I like them more than that. And I also think that otherwise, um, I mean, they're, they're a good solid basic pair with like a little twist. Um, and I mean, if you're looking for like a good everyday legging, I feel like if you got these in black, you could probably also wear them a lot um, because they're so comfortable. But yes. All right, next up we have the graphic elastic bra in Las Luna. So that's what the print is called. And when I got this, which is like a few years ago, actually, they had this in like a, a lot of different uh, patterns as well. And this is a really simple bra shape, at least from the front. Um, and it's again, just double lined. There's no removable cup hats inside. We have like a normal, you know, just a very, very basic shape here. You have elastics for um, as your straps here. So they're stretchy, but they're also not as soft as like some fabric could be. And in the back then we have like some some strappiness happening, which of course will look a little bit different when I have this on. And again, all of this is elastic, basically. So might not be the most comfortable for everyone, uh, especially if you're like afraid of like things cutting in and bolting out and stuff like that. Maybe this is not your jam. Um, again, an elastic underneath your chest but this one I've never felt was like too good in terms of support. And yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, the print is cute. Uh, you compare this with a lot of different things, but more of a yoga sports bra, I think. And yeah, the performance, the performance material, see, feels a little performancey, exactly the <laughs> material. Feels more like a performance material, so it's not as soft, it's more like, you know, a little bit shiny again, like very sleek, so. Yeah, let's see this one on. All right, another Onzi bra with, without cup pads. Um, this one, I think, hides it a little nicely, though, with the nippers because it has a pattern, it's a bit darker. Um, it's, again, not a lot of fabric that we have here, but for my small chest, it's okay. And it's not. this is not a lot of support, even though you still have an elastic here, but it's not as tight-fitting as, for example, the red shiny bra. So I can definitely feel like a little bit more jigglage, and I would only wear this for yoga or some other like light stretching or something where I know I'm not gonna be moving too much. We have elastic here as a strap, so it's also a bit stretchy. And then in the back, you have like detailing with elastics as well. So if you're afraid of things cutting in, um, maybe this is not your bra, but yeah, there's a lot of elastic happening. It's not super uncomfortable or anything, even though it's just like the elastic bands, but like, I don't feel it too much. Um, and for me, it's fine, but yeah. Otherwise, like, I think this is nothing special. If you like the pattern, then of course you can go for this, for the style. But yeah, it's, it's nothing too wild, basically. And just like a, a basic, like, yoga bra, if that makes sense. And I mean, they do have some cute patterns, but yeah, it would certainly not be my first choice of sports bras. All right, next up we have the Sweetheart Midi Legging. These are in a ripped fabric and the color is called Empathy. So I will say to me, it looks more like a, like a teal or kind of like more a blue leaning teal. Um, if you wanna compare the green color that we had from before, the emeralds, that's more green than this. So definitely more blue leaning, but kind of still teal and I mean, I don't really know what empathy is, but, you know, it's not really a color, but whatever. So, um, these feel really nice. They're very heavy, though, I'm assuming because of the, of the ripped fabric. So they have a lot of, um, a, a lot of structure, and they feel very soft. And yeah, you can see, 
nice and stretchy. I again got these in a medium large. I'm thinking maybe I should have gone for the small medium with this style because it seems so stretchy and soft. But we will see. Um, these are a little bit different than the other leggings that we've looked at so far. We do still have a top seam to help you keep them up. And the waistband is also still pretty thick, but it's it dips down in the middle there. So basically there to give you a little bit more tummy compression, I assume. And then we also have more seams happening on the side of the leg. So you have one seam going down here the entire way, and then another seam also doing the same thing on the back of the leggings. And they kind of somehow it seems like there's that kind of gives you a little bit detailing for the glutes but I'm not sure so we'll see when when it's on if, if it does anything but yeah you can see you can see how how ripped this is it's it's really I li actually like it and it's also like more of a triangular shape or not triangular but like diagonal shape here uh, with the ribs so usually when you get ripped leggings they're more like straight down um, but this is, I mean, it's a cute idea. There's a lot of seams though, so they, f they feel like they could be super cozy and comfortable, but the seams could ruin it as well, as well. so, um, yeah. Let's just see these on. Alright, these Sweetheart Midi leggings are like a, a ripped fabric. It's quite a thick fabric too, but if I come closer here you can see how ribbed this is. Again, we have a very like wide waistband and this one is even wider than on the other leggings, especially because it has like this dip here in the middle. So it dips a bit lower to the front here. Um, I'm never too sure if I like it or not, because especially this is pretty low, so it ends here. Um, and I again got these in the medium and large and I feel like I could have done a size smaller. And these leggings are very thick. So definitely do not wear them in summer. They are super thick. Um, they are very soft though and very stretchy as well. So they're like, you can move around in these, but they are super thick. Again, we have a top seam and yeah, these are just like slightly big on me. So they have a lot of space and they do already have a lot of stretch. So there's that. Um, they are also a bit shorter than some of the other leggings. So these are definitely not seven eighth anymore. They, they're getting a little bit closer to Capri, which I do not like. And there's a little bit more extra fabric around my ankles here, which I also do not like too much. And that generally shows me I should have sized down. Um, yeah, so this is how I tell sometimes. <laughs> Otherwise we have like a seam across your leg here. Not sure if I like this. And then you have another one here. So you kind of have like um, a panel here and then the ribs go kind of like diagonal. Let me see if I can show you. But yeah, this is basically how they designed this. And I mean, it's a cute idea. It's a bit different than some of the other seamless leggings where it usually just goes down straight. But yeah, I'm not sure. And then in the back we have like, actually a little bit more glued detailing, I think. It feels like there's a slight V. So a bit of a different idea there than the other leggings that we've seen. But yeah, they're definitely very thick. But if you're looking for like a good, again, a good like basic legging or a good legging for like just yoga, no hot yoga though, just yoga um, or stretching or something. I guess these could be great. I also think they're pretty satellite friendly because they are so thick and so ribbed. So they have a texture, but yeah, so warm as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. The top seam again, of course, helps to keep them up, but yeah, I would say to go with a smaller size if you're in between. Alright, and then I got one of their more standard leggings, the, their high-rise leggings. And I think this is what most of their prints come in. And they seem to be a big fan of this leopard print, because they have this leopard print in a lot of pieces. So I was like, you know what, why not? Let's just try it. I'm usually not a big fan of it. But this one seems pretty good for a leopard print. Um, this fabric is also more performancey, very sleek, like really sleek. A little softer than the liquid leggings for sure. So if I had to decide between the two in terms of comfort, I would probably say these are more comfortable. Um, I again got these uh, in a medium and large rather than the small medium, just to you know make sure I could put them on for the video, I guess. Um, we do have a top seam here as well, so that's the same as the other leggings. Again, a front seam as well. And 
you know, just straight across seams in the back, not much glue detailing happening. Not that you would see the seams very much with all the print happening, but that's, that's what it is. And I think these ones, oh yeah, they're still like the logo down here. Hard to see, like I said, with the busy print. Um, and I would say they're slightly shiny, maybe. And they do still feel like very stretchy. It is printed on white. Maybe it's not going to stretch out as much. We'll see this uh, when I have them on. And yeah, all in all, I feel like these could be a good sweat wicking option from them. And I mean, like I said, there's also, there should be a lot of prints for this one. Uh, if you're not a big fan of leopard print, then, you know, you could still check those out if you like the fit. Um, yeah. I'm also not sure if they're really different in terms of rise, because the other ones were always called like blah 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 whatever leggings and these are called the high-rise leggings but they all seem pretty high-rise to me so not sure what that is about um but let's see these ones on all right these are basically their like basic kind of legging that they have with all the patterns these are the high-rise leggings and i mean they are high-rise um basically as high-rise as all their other ones but these are where, what they have most of the prints in basically and they are similar so similar to the other ones we've seen so far wide waistband again we have a top seam that's not like super invasive or anything and sorry that was the front seam and we have a top seam here as well not cutting in too much again i got these in a medium large and they feel a little bit big but i also know that i have like one or two pattern leggings that i have in a small medium that are also a little tight so again i wish they had a size medium <laughs> um but you know that's just what we're dealing with these are printed on white but i guess also because of the style that they are they don't seem to be stretching out super badly or anything um, and I mean yeah like I said it might be the color like if you had a darker print you would probably see it a little bit more and again I feel like I have a little bit extra space in the waistband here in the back especially so you know and it also dips a teeny tiny bit lower when I squat do not like this too much but it's okay um, 7 8 length on me and again a little bit of extra space around the ankles which as I told you before kind of tells me maybe I should have sized down um, and yeah but these are nice and stretchy if you like pattern leggings i mean i think especially if you like leopard print they do this a lot and i think they do it actually quite well because this one looks really good i think um the print itself and yeah if you're a big fan of that maybe you know these are your leggings they are more of this the fabric that i saw or that i had in the red shiny leggings but this feels a little bit softer um probably because of you know the finish and what this pattern is. It is still a little bit shiny though. So I think most of their patterns are a little bit shiny, but I think also that makes them look very vibrant. And I'm not a big fan of leopard print, but I think this one, as I said, looks really good. So yeah, if you like it a little bit wild, maybe. All right, we have two pieces left. They're not exactly leggings or <laughs> workout clothes. We have the Freedom Pant, uh, also in this leopard print, and they're like more of a, you know, flowy, flowy pair of pants. Very wide legs here. Kind of like, I can definitely see my, my lights through this. So definitely not like super, um, super uh, covering, I guess. Well, I mean, they're like supposed to be like a flowy pair of, of pants for for summer, I think. Um, so that's all okay. And yeah, I just thought they looked fun, especially because they had these white legs at the bottom. I got these in a medium large. We also just have an elastic up top here. So they seem like a pretty simple cut. I'm not sure if they're worth the money because it feels like the, the fabric doesn't feel bad or anything, but it doesn't feel particularly like luxurious or expensive or anything it's just polyester and um yeah i feel like you could probably get something like this for a cheaper price somewhere else um but let's see if they at least you know look good all right these are a joke because this is a medium large and this is as high as i can get them up and they're supposed to be flowy pants isn't that great definitely not designed for if you have a butt or some thighs um so yeah if you're <laughs> 
you know, this, the, the typical image of a yoga person, these could fit you. And I probably, like, I think they'd be such a nice, you know, flowy pair of pants to have, especially for summer, since they're so thin. Um, but yeah, this is as high as it gets. I can't, I can barely walk. And they're supposed to come up here. You could definitely see my, my nude underwear there, barely covering my, my crack there. And yeah, I really, you know, was surprised to see how, how they don't fit. <laughs> and yeah, this is interesting. Especially, you know, I have some of the leggings and small, medium, this is a medium large, look at this. Um, yeah, again, not big butt and thick thigh friendly at all. <sighs> Such a shame. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about these. I think I can't even lift this leg. Here, we can do it like this. You have a lot of like flowiness at the bottom and it could have been so fun, but yeah, not, not happening at all. And uh, also elastic at the top here, which is not a problem. It is really just how much, how much fabric there is around the thighs. Yeah, um, not my favorite at all. Definitely not. <laughs> All right, and then I was still scrolling through the website and was like, hmm, is there something else I should try? Do I have anything that's a little different? And then I found an active dress. They also had this in like different colors. Uh, I still decided to just get it in black. And this looks slightly ribbed as well. Or it looks, I mean, it is slightly ribbed as well. Not sure if it's easy to see with the black, but yes. I thought black was a good basic color for an active dress. Um, you have a full onesie underneath. Let's see if I can show it to you easily. Let's just do it like this. So a onesie underneath basically. Um, you also have kind of a shelf bra here. It's not a lot, but there's an elastic underneath where your chest would be. Um, and that's about it. So like no removable cup pads or anything. So basically it is double lined where your chest is. I never liked this too much, you know, if you already go through the effort to put like a whole like second layer into this dress and make it an active dress, just have removable cup pads and something that's just more than just an elastic band. Because if it's an active dress then, you know, I'm supposed to be able to also like just, you know, work out in this basically. Not sure if that's <laughs> possible with just that, that little elastic there. Um, and otherwise it's a very simple cut, we just have like thin spaghetti straps here, slightly scooped neckline there, and then in the back it's also just very, very simple. It seems to be um, a short dress, so it wouldn't be very long, I will say that too. Um, the inside fabric feels a little different, so the inside is a little bit more soft. I mean the outside is also soft, but it's different soft. Um, and there doesn't seem to be like too many like seams go like happening that could be cutting in or anything. Super short inseam though for the, the shorts underneath. And I also didn't see any pockets on these. Oh, there is a pocket actually. So we have one pocket on the side. Um, so you could put, you know, I don't know. I don't think it's big enough for a phone, but maybe a key or something in there. Um, yeah, it's slightly shiny again. I feel like they like shininess for some reason. But yeah, so that's what that is. And it also seems a little paradox to me that, so it's, it basically looks like a summer dress, right? Because you have the thin straps and everything. But the material feels kind of heavy and not like a summer material. This is more like what I would wear for autumn, fall. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to think about that. And, but yeah, let's just see, let's just see how this fits on. Uh, if this is gonna work for my tall torso or not. And, um, yeah, let's see. All right, I don't know what I was thinking putting this in because I didn't have good experiences with their overalls, which I tried on. I mean, I tried one of them on um, in a previous video that I will just link here for you. And, you know, I don't know why I thought this dress was gonna be better. Um, medium large, it is. it has a full on overall down here. And that overall, surprisingly, I mean, doesn't fit bad or anything, but it is like, I'm too tall for this. So like, I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, pulling this into areas that I don't wanna have things pulled into for it to kind of, you know, fit properly. There's like a large gap 
around the waist, which of course doesn't, I mean, you can't see it that well, but it is there because of, you know, it not, like it's being, it's too big, but also too short. And then that's, you know, what it does. Um, overall it's pretty short, so I would say probably you have two inch shorts here. Um, and, you know, still, it's not uncomfortable at all. And then the dress part is just like, like if this is a medium large, then, you know, please make it fit that way in all the areas. So we have no um, removable cup pads here, but you kind of have like a shelf bra, but still you would see some nippage. It's been pulled down here because of my height. Um, the length of the dress in the front is okay. And then in the back, it's just like, I feel like it's way too short and it's kind of like bunching up here because of my butt. So yeah, definitely do not wear this if you have curves, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure this could look good on some people, but just not on me. And again, like I said, if you have a tall torso, also not gonna work for you. I like the fabric though. It's um, like it's ribbed and it kind of is also like, it feels a little bit velvety. I don't think it is. Or maybe it's cord 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 whatever. I will put the word here that I mean. Um, and I like that, you know, I like the, the, how the fabric feels of the, of the dress, but it's just not, it's just not a great fit for me. And yeah, if you are taller, if you have a tall torso, whatever, just don't even attempt that, I guess. And again, if you have a bigger butt or thick thighs or something, probably not going to be for you, unfortunately. Could have been cute, but no. All right, it's conclusion time. Um, I feel like with Onzi, it's like a bit of a hit and miss for me, especially like the dress, for example, was a disaster. The flowy pants were a disaster. The sizing seems a little bit mm, to me. Like I'm kind of in between. Sometimes the small medium seems a little bit too small. Sometimes, or most of the times the medium large seems to be too large. Um, and then again with the brass, that one of them was so tight, the other ones worked okay. It's just, you know, it's a bit of a hit and miss. Uh, with that as well, if you can't really rely on their sizing being the same for everything, it's a bit tricky, especially since you can only order online. Um, yeah, at least, you know, we have the option to like send stuff back, at least we're like, if I order through Zalando or About You, for example, I can always just return, so that's nice and easy. Um, but yeah, fortunately it's not always as easy if you want like a specific piece and you have to order through a different website. Um, I mean, I really like the items that I already had. Sometimes for the looks, sometimes also for like how how the fit and the feel is. Um, I will say their like their standard like high rise legging was also pretty good. Um, in term like if you want like more of a performance feel and not like this brushed feeling leggings. Um, and these will also definitely not give you like this naked feel leggings that a lot of people talk about. In case you're wondering, because that's I mean that's a big thing in yoga I think, but like they don't seem to be doing this. Or at least all the leggings I've tried don't seem to be like trying to do that. Um, especially because most of them do have top seams, which seems interesting to me because I don't think in yoga you necessarily need that. Like I said, I don't always mind it, but it's more like a thing I would expect from a high performance legging. Um, but then again, they also said they do not just do yoga apparel, but also just work out close and they believe in movement and whatever. Um, yes. <laughs> the dress is a disaster, like, as were, was one of their bodysuits that I tried on previously. Um, just not tall people friendly or tall torso friendly. So if, yeah, if you have a problem with that, just do not try it. I mean, you can obviously try it. I can't forbid you to do that, but I'm just advising you not to, uh, basically. Um, I like that they sometimes have very unique designs with that sutra bra. Uh, they have, like, fun colorways. They stick to the stuff that people love as well, so you will usually, like I said, with the selenite leggings, uh, you will always find these, but like in different colors, so you can you can rely on those staples, basically. Um, I also like that, but otherwise, like, yeah. I'm, I'm not 100% convinced of everything they do. I will say that my top favorite still is the selenite stuff, because that fabric is just really, really nice, and I think it just looks really good. So yeah, uh, that's it. Let me know what your favorite piece was, what your favorite set was. If you've tried anything from Onzi before, if you have some favorites. And yeah, otherwise, 
Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, give this video your thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram as well to like get some updates throughout the week, see some outfits, some active wear outfits, just to be clear about that. And yeah, if you have any feedback, any suggestions, just leave them down in the comment box below and I will try to get to it. Um, yeah, otherwise, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.